Link is going to be a ninja, but also be very, very sore in the morning on that one leg. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah. Buddy. The leg ain't meant to bend that way, buddy. No. Just saying. Oh. Well, that's future Link's issue. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to Tears of the Kingdom. In the last episode, I... Well, I went around Goron City and I, well, I just chilled out mm -hmm. and helped some old men in hot water. This episode, though, we're back in Gerudo Valley, where things are hot and the guy is sleeping. Mm. Here, here, have this. I have guts. I have guts to take down a Gleok. <laughs> yeah, a King Gleok. <laughs> and then you have to acknowledge, buddy, that you have made a stinking rich. I'll take that. <laughs> oh. And you've also now got to acknowledge that you have ate a dragon's innards. Yep. <laughs> That's morbid, but also badass at the same time. It's not like the lady in Kakariko who just ate a simple porridge. No, it's like, oh, I just needed ready breck and then all my troubles were over. If only there was that easy. Mm -hmm. I eat porridge every day, dude, but at the same time, I like my protein. I need my bacon and eggs in the morning. Yeah. Definitely. Breakfast, it can sometimes help you out in the mornings for sure. And that's why this episode is but I'm just joking. <laughs> I wonder what it would honestly be like if someone did a Let's Play and every episode would be sponsored. <laughs> Especially with a game as big as this. Yeah. <laughs> and if you had unique sponsors for all of them. Yeah. <laughs> like 168 sponsors. 168 sponsors. Yeah. <sighs> I mean, that'd be cool on a financial standpoint, but at the same time, you'd probably get some shady sponsors there. Yeah. Like, hey, everyone, this episode is sponsored by Rage Shadow Lens. So off. Is that still a meme? Probably, I mean, because I've seen it some on some videos even now. Yeah, I mean... A bit like, what, maybe a year or two ago? You could hardly go a day without seeing a video being sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Mm -hmm. Then it kind of just dropped off. Kind of like Zoom. Or Fidget Spinners. You can still use them. Ugh. At the time of recording, Pikmin 4's come out, and I have seen that a Fidget Spinner is in the game. Wow. Yeah. Honestly, that is one of the best parts about playing a Pikmin game. It's most, um, most notably uh, Pikmin 2, because it had so many good gags and good Easter eggs regarding treasures. <laughs> it's honestly made me kind of more just about playing uh, uh, Pikmin 2. Hmm. And... When I say Pikmin 2, I mean the original GameCube version because there are some gags in the original which haven't translated well to with a port on Switch. Mostly because the licensing is gone. Hmm. I'll give you a prime example. Um, in, in the original Pikmin 2, you could get a battery as a treasure. Mm -hmm. And in the original, it was a Duracell battery. Ah. But now, of course, it's been many, many years. It's been relabeled to just a generic battery oh no we were just talking off screen about wanting to play like classic Zelda games but oh no man just kind of makes me itch to play a lot a lot of classic Nintendo games we never got a chance to play your Pikmin your Zeldas your Metroids mm -hmm. so much good stuff and Nintendo just has not ported them at least at the time of recording it is currently the end of July 2023 just you watch now, this gets posted in 2024, be like, Hey, everything on the GameCube's been announced. Inaru, chill. Jesus. 
Let's suck on the sandstorm. Hit the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Minora, I think she just shot Tone across the across the way. <laughs> oh, that was great. That was great. I like how the broken bright blooms are still lighting up the place. Yeah. Just the little, the bright petals now. <laughs> Is that a details? You have so many good weapons, I don't want to waste them. <laughs> exactly. It's what, it's kind of one of the reasons why I stopped my plan last episode, because I realized, oh yeah, that means I'd have to give up my weapons. That? That's a shrine shrine. Oh, sweet. Yes, there's something here you had to get. Just on your point that you brought up just now, um, I do honestly get the feeling that we're not really stuck on, and we've talked about this before, but I guess just bears repeating the later we get into with the game. Um, I'm honestly really not finding us being hard up for bows and shields. It's more hand weapons than anything. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. The game I, is. I honestly don't remember the last time we broke in a shield. I don't think we. Uh. Ooh. Ooh. I don't think we've broken a shield, but I do think we've broken an uh, attachment of a shield. Hmm. As in, like we broke one of our shield covers. Mm hmm. Our shield within a shield. Mm hmm. But apart from that, no. I think you're right. I don't think we've broken a shield. Which, okay, fine. I think it was a similar case in Breath of the Wild, but it really wasn't this bad. Especially when it comes to the bows, and I think that is wholly due to the throwing mechanic. Mm -hmm. It saved us a lot of projectiles. <laughs> and the answer Link has found has... another sinkhole. I love that sound. Oh no, I am possibly being drowned in quicksand. Yep. <laughs> Whoop. Yeah, I was surprised when I first heard it. I thought he was going to make a scream, but... Yeah, yeah it's like... Yeah! But no, he's all good. Especially since we first heard it in a whirlpool. Yeah. Oh, didn't realize he was here. I didn't hear the croaking initially. And I love how all those caves have now got tick marks. That is extremely satisfying. Oh, I miss shrine shrines. And what do we get? Get <laughs> Phantom Greaves. Mysterious mirrors behind roof fans that terrorize brave heroes. These greaves look like just one supposedly war by supposedly war. So it's Phantom Ganon then. <laughs> so awesome. Oh, look at all that. Yeah. Does that mean they all will have one? I don't know, actually. That's actually a good question. Oh. Uh. More to explore? Also, can I say, I'm just looking at that and it just... I'm getting PTSD from Xenoblade 3. Just how... It, just how it, what's up? In what way? You're having to dig through a lot of holes looking for something specific and ancient and mystical and grand. Yeah. Yeah. Sort of a letdown when it's the literally the penultimate thing you've got to do in your game. <laughs> I still want to make a video about that. It's not going to be likes, but it's still got to be said. Do I have oh. to go through each one? <laughs> I'm gonna guess you do. <laughs> oh. oh, that is terrible. <laughs> is it because you didn't go up through the tippy top of every single... I mean, for example, go on top of that sand mound, if you may. Oh, oh, okay, yeah. That's oh, a lot better, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, you have to go down each one individually. It is the principle of the thing. 
where is your sense of adventure if you don't do it properly? <laughs> I was really worried about that. It would be the smallest of details, and it wouldn't shock me if it slipped through the crack in its development. I'm also surprised this doesn't have a shrine, because all the sinkholes look shriny. Yeah, yeah. If we haven't found a shrine in a sinkhole yet, it's probably going to be one eventually. Well, I looked at the depths, and apparently we've got all the shrines in Gerudo Desert. Really? Yeah. Really? Uh-huh. You know what? That kind of adds up. <laughs> this I mean, is funny. <laughs> yeah. Oh. How needles. It, <laughs> it could have just been one cave. <laughs> it could have literally just been one cave. <laughs> it just looks like a village for moles. <laughs> like, like <laughs> on a glance, you would. You, <laughs> that looks like a freaking village. Yeah, it does. <laughs> It's like, come on! Oh. Who looked at who looked at that and thought, "Yep, yeah, that's not overcrowded. Yep, yeah, that's not confusing at all." <laughs> we'll just have a slight Ubisoft moment right there, and just have icons splattered everywhere. Yeah. Oh, apparently you can summon sages to your side while whistling. Great. All five of them? It would have been nice to know with the Yonobo. Yeah. But here's the thing, though. You shouldn't have to press a button for AI to follow you. That should be just default. <laughs> yep. Yep, look at them follow. Yep. That still doesn't put them in range. <laughs> that still doesn't put them in range. <laughs> that is the equivalent of you being around a couple of your mates and then you suddenly screaming, OI! And I'm just looking at you. <laughs> what? Why'd you do that? That was so unnecessary. Yeah, but you're now looking at me. Yeah. <laughs> it got the reaction I want. <laughs> Oh yeah, never like well, that's a thing which we haven't done yet. <laughs> well, done. Sand it in. Alright, ball lady, where you at? I demand to see the woman with the balls. <laughs> From this angle, looks he has a mustache. Yeah. Very suspicious. Oh, no melon this time. No. <laughs> it said you get a very hard rock. <laughs> Do that's what you will, audience. I'm sure you will. But no, you could do. Oh, yeah. You need a way to open melons. So you can just yeah. prod that right in there. Yeah. <laughs> like, just really, you can penetrate the melons with that. <laughs> Good night, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ten, and what is this? Ah, moon. I'm going to laugh my head off. If it's raining. No. If it's a blood moon. It's and raining. It's always raining when I want to go for this quest. Because the sky is crying. <laughs> the, <laughs> yeah, the joke I was going to make is, you know what would be funny? If you're taking a picture 
of the Zora's Heaven Saint Angel, and he just got a blood moon behind her. <laughs> It's like, yes, this is your princess. Uh, well, it's not raining anymore. <laughs> because it needs to make way for the coming of darkness. <laughs> it's like coming of evil, Jesus. It needs to be shining with the moon. And it's a blood moon, so it's not going to count. <laughs> we don't know that. <laughs> oh my god, are you actually going to try it? Yes, please do. I don't think it's going to count. I think the moon counts as a different code. By the light of the moon, not the blood moon. <laughs> you just take a picture and the statue's head just goes upside down. Oh, or eyes glow red. Yes, yes. I find it incredibly annoying and disrespectful. How Mifa gets a statue, her own place in Zora's domain. But Ravali, Daruk. Yeah. <laughs> and Brosa get nothing. I still feel like Tiba got the shortest of, end of the stick. Of course, stick. of course, <laughs> of course, because he's got little to no context. The best thing he gets is for a spin off. <laughs> You just got that out of your personal collection. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, ah, oh, the love of my life. <laughs> oh my god, you want. <laughs> you are going to post this, and it'll be Zora propaganda. Yeah. <laughs> this is what Mifa was truly like. Oh, yeah, that Close can. enough. <laughs> close enough. <laughs> <laughs> Mepha, princess of demon spawn. <laughs> <laughs> here's Sidon, here's what I really think of your sister. <laughs> <laughs> Good lord. But just based on that slight discussion there it kind of makes me frustrated with this game in terms of its continuity mm -hmm. and this ain't just me this is nintendo's marketing from day one of this game because what was it known as for years breath of the wild 2 or a sequel to breath of the wild mm -hmm. sequel indicates you know a continuation of the story and yet, it hardly references it at all. Yeah. <laughs> like, no one mentions the Calamity, no one mentions the liberation of Hyrule, the Divine Beasts are pretty much gone, like, and not even explained away. The champions are hardly name-dropped apart from Mipha. Yeah. It's like, game, are you a sequel or aren't you? Because you're meant to be doing a lot more than this if you're going to be warranted a sequel. <sighs> Link and Sidon. I huh? ship. Link and Sidon. I ship it. <laughs> you do. <laughs> <laughs> of God's sake. <laughs> it, it's it's the only link to Breath of the Wild we've got. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord. Nice. Um. I thought you were honestly going to take a picture of him behind uh, the tree. <laughs> like, yeah, that's clearly a Gleok. <laughs> Link just noped out of there. Yeah. You just see the flames, electric and ice just swoosh past the place where he stood. <laughs> I wish Link had the power to just swap places with people. Just put a Yeeklan member there. <laughs> like, that! <laughs> or a Korok. <laughs> I love you thinking. Hey. <laughs> Oh, 
All right, buddy. I hate you for it. Now this is when he says, Oh my god, I was just making this monster up. I didn't even know it actually existed. Now a picture of the Demon King. Now can you free Hudson from this conversation, Hal? No! <laughs> He's my monster buddy! <laughs> I think it's actually on its tail. Oh no, it, is it? Yeah, it is. On its tippy top. <laughs> it's somehow standing upright amongst all that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, I found a place for it. The Gibdo is no longer a thing. Taking a lot of time for people to acknowledge it. It's got a lot to render there. <laughs> it does. Just looking at this just makes me realize how small and trivial and helpless we are against the Demon King's power. We should just conform. <laughs> we should worship Satan now. <laughs> now what do you want? I don't think Hudson is going to go. No, he's done. So I'm going to guess it's not Hudson then. No, yeah. it's, it's not him. <laughs> you went for all that hell and back to find out it wasn't for him. No. <laughs> I wonder who it is for then. Who knows, man? Who knows? <laughs> I guess we'll find out later on. But with that, guys, I think we're going to end things off here. So next time on Tears of the Kingdom, uh, I am honestly thinking of going around and getting every bit of a hero's weapon. Perfect. <laughs> the King Gilak has fallen. Yeah. <laughs> in image and in game. Is he staying? I can't tell. <laughs> oh. This is weird. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you all for watching. And of course, if you like this video, then please be sure to like it. And if you want to subscribe to see more, then yes. Subscribe to see more of this lovely piece of artwork. Magnificent. We killed you. <laughs> and, and you, and you. <laughs> Till then, thanks for watching. See you next time.